Hi, my name is Doug Kelly and I'm the Wildland Product Manager with KME Fire Apparatus. If you're looking at this video, odds are really good that you either saw an interface pumper on our calendar or on our website. So if you're in the market for an interface pumper, there are some things I'd like to give you to consider as you write your specifications. One of the things you have to remember is that a wildland interface pumper can be very different depending upon which part of the country you're in. So it's important as you talk with your dealer that you're able to talk about exactly what you want. The first thing to consider is the chassis. An interface pumper can be mounted on any type of chassis, but most commonly it's going to be mounted on a four-door commercial pumper or commercial chassis such as a Freightliner or a Navistar or one of the other similar brands. In the size of class that most of these trucks get mounted on, that has certain implications for your, for your specifications. First, consider the engine. Typically in this size chassis, the largest engine you can get is 350 horsepower and possibly only 330 horsepower. But with the new transmissions, you can get at least 1,000 foot-pounds of torque, which is more than enough to pull all but the most demanding hills. When you work with your dealer and when you work with KME, we will provide you what's called a scan. A scan is going to tell you not only the turning radius, but also the startability and the speed that you can expect both on flat land and as you're going up hills. Second thing for you to consider is the pump. An interface pumper literally can have rear mounts, they can have mid mounts, they can have small pumps. On the west coast typically it's 500 gallons per minute two-stage pump for high pressure so they can get up hills with long hose lays. On the east coast it's more of a structural pumper usually. You'll have a thousand gallon per minute pump or maybe even up to 1500 gallon per minute pump. The key is pump and roll. A general rule of thumb is that the larger the capacity of the pump the worse the pump and roll performance. KME can work with you to overcome that. We can either add a second pump, we can add a diesel powered pump, or we can size the pump correctly from the beginning so that you'll get the pump and roll performance that you want. A lot of trucks on the market today have very poor pump and roll, sometimes no more than just a trickle at walking speed. So this is important to define up front. Third thing I'd like you to consider is the tank size. At KME, we typically can fit up to 700 gallons in an 8-foot body and most 8-foot bodies only have 500 gallons of water. If you want a 750 gallon tank you're going to have to go to a 10-foot body. That extra 2 foot is going to go mostly in the wheelbase which is going to affect the maneuverability of the unit. So keep that in mind as you're selecting how long you want the truck to be and how much water you want it to carry. Fourth thing to consider is other missions that the truck has to perform. The most common thing to think about is ladder storage. These trucks are usually very short and it's very difficult to get long ladders in a very usable location. Most interface pumpers will only have a 16 foot, maybe a 20 foot, 3 section extension ladder. But if you want longer ladders, we can certainly do that. One popular option is an overhead ladder rack, but if you're going to be taking the truck through trees, that might not be the best solution. So define that up front so KMG can work with you to get the, the ladders where you need them to be, where they're useful to be used. Other considerations, winches, rescue tie-off points, angle of departure. The angle of departure is going to allow you to go up embankments and over berms that allow the truck to have the, just that much more maneuverability. The fifth thing I'd like you to consider is cost. Don't be afraid to share your general budget numbers with your dealer. That's important because this price range on one of these vehicles can swing wildly depending upon the content of the unit. So part of the dealer's responsibility and part of KME's responsibility is to make sure that we size the content of the truck to meet your budgetary needs. Also, if we find that there's some things you may want but a particular style might be more expensive than you think you can afford, we can also suggest alternatives to be able to bring that budget back under the umbrella. If you're in the market for an interface pumper, KME wants to build your truck. So don't be afraid to look at our website, to contact our dealers. We'll be more than happy to bring these questions and help you get answers to these questions, but also all the other questions you might have as well.